Hi, and welcome to this new video that uh, will be maybe the first video of a series that we call Coming Hoon. And I'm joined with my friend Brix here, which name only he can pronounce. Kerion. Easy to say, right? So that's why everyone just calls him Brix. Yeah, so this is a new series that we might be uh, starting on this channel which is just like me and someone else from the team hanging out on a video call like this right now. And we just talk about stuff that's coming out soon. So uh, today we're talking about this thing, the Diorfa Andromeda. This is a board we've been working on and um, essentially it's a, it's a board specifically made for the uh, ESP8266 Diorfa project. Uh, I don't think I have to explain that project. If you don't know that, just look at any other video on this channel. Um, and uh, yeah, this is made to be in a form factor of like a Wi-Fi dongle. So you can just plug it in. So, you know, USB-A, you don't need a cable. Uh, it comes with a bigger antenna, so you don't have to rely on like a tiny onboard antenna like most. Um, I think I have one here. So if you have something like that, a VMOS board, then you have to rely on these uh, very small onboard antennas. This one actually has an antenna connector, um, but to be able to use that, you need to resolder a tiny, tiny zero ohm resistor here. Um, with our board, it just comes with that. And it comes with the big antenna, the big SMA antenna connector. So you can just connect any standard antenna. And you might have seen this already on our last video where we introduced this as the long range deoffer. Now, we did change the name now, um, primarily because a lot of people ask us about how long is this range? Rex, do you know much about antenna range stuff? In general, the most important things to know is, of course, the amount of power you put in your antenna that has to be within safe limits and the uh, specifications of your antenna and the manufacturer also has some influence on it because some do uh, produce better antennas to better specs than the others. It's always a bit of what do you prefer and what do you have good experience with and what material do you have? such as with uh, a general omnidirectional, you will, will be able to just have general range, or if you have something like a Yagi antenna or a um, bigger directional antenna, you really have the ability to focus uh, in a specific direction and the range, and that will also allow you to increase the range because you don't have to do any work to have a full area instead of, uh, and then you can just full go forward with the range, which yeah, makes so, it a lot more. So TLDR, it's complicated. <laughs> we can't really say, you know, uh, this, thi uh, uh, this thing is X amount uh, longer range than that, you know, because these can have different ranges too. It completely depends on the environment you're in and what you're doing. Um, Walls, metal, anything. Yeah. Nonetheless, this is a topic for another video. Uh, I just want to quickly explain, you know, why we are calling this Diof Andromeda now. And one of the reasons was definitely that confusion. Uh, descriptive names are good for certain products, but there is an, there's, there's an end to that. And um, so we thought, let's call our products from here on out uh, something, something that's in, I don't want to say in the stars, but like in the night sky. Like it doesn't necessarily have to be star. I mean, Andromeda is a galaxy. Uh, and we call it actually Andromeda because it fits into the long range theme because it's the thing you can see with your naked eye on the night sky, uh, which is also the furthest away object you can see with your, yeah, with your bare eye. Um, so it fits that theme. And uh, if we come up with new uh, Diofa or, or other boards, we're going to give them cool space names because it fits the whole theme. So um, Briggs, what did we, what did change from this to the long range Diofa? Um, as you can already see, a lot of people will maybe have seen while you were showing yours, there is yeah. a difference between the buttons so. as we used to have the buttons you press from the top. Now we have side mounted buttons, so you don't have any issues with the antenna and the adapter to the SMA connector, which allows you to make easy access to the reset and the, ref uh, and the flash button. 
usually you don't need to use these buttons. Uh, one of the button is for resetting the, the chip and the other one is to uh, put it into flash mode manually. So that makes it a lot easier to flash the latest and greatest uh, the author firmware or any other firmware you yeah. want to use with this board. Usually you don't need to use those buttons because the whole thing, the whole resetting, flash mode setting um, can be done automatically. So you don't need those buttons, but in some cases you do. So it's not a huge deal, but you know, this is of course nicer because here you can just... It is just to make sure um, if you have the pro product and it's locked that it needs the flash button, that you don't have to manually solder on some wires. It's just easy to use, press the button and you're done. Uh, if you look at the back, we um, went from a CP21 chip to a FTDI uh, serial chip. It's one of the choices we made um, also to make it easier for production. Yes. If you hold them side by side, you can also see um, a huge uh, four uh, connector um, regulator chip has been removed. We right. moved to a smaller version instead of this big uh, four prong one. I think we never yes. said, but you actually made this, right? You designed this. This, uh, I designed this uh, idea. This is, oh, that's the new one. This is the old one. Um, here you can see the old uh, regulator, which took up a lot of space and um, yeah in general was not as nice to work with um, and you can still see the CP21. One of the changes we did is these pads have been moved slightly outwards. This is the version uh, Stefan just showed. You can see the pads are just a bit further outside of the lines. Yeah, basically a bunch of smaller changes that makes it easier to produce because when I assembled those 30 limited editions, there were some complications. <laughs> We had some complications and Just this way we hope time. to make it a lot easier. So um, even if you look at the files, it's a lot easier to find the items. What yeah, about as you can the see, PCB art? Yeah, that's now also completely different. Um, we have some beautiful art on the front. The logo has been changed. We added clear buttons for the reset and the flash button. We can see some beautiful galaxy. If we look at the backside yeah <laughs> you can even see more galaxy and a more planet beautifully stars. andromeda planet stars the dipper i don't know if you did if it's the big or the small dipper as my knowledge is not good enough for that another thing um let me switch back all right here so i got these actually the other day uh those are the the pcbs you can see on on bricks's uh, screen as well uh, and they turned out really, really nice. As you can see here, they came in a panel of 10. The artwork is amazing. I really like it. If you want to make these PCBs yourself or want to make any other PCBs, those can be produced by the sponsor, JLC PCB. They actually produced those. And as I said, they came out really, really nice, really high quality. They have a fast turnaround and good prices. I have the page open here. It's pretty simple. You just click on quote now. And uh, if you have Gerber files, those are the basically the compiled files you send to the manufacturer. I'm just going to upload mine real quick. Okay, so uh, here I have my PCBs. Uh, you have the dimensions of your PCB. You can say how many you want. And as you can see, if you just order like five pieces, you get them for $2, which is incredibly cheap. And also have a uh, one to two days turnaround time. That's That's amazing. Uh, really nice. They sponsored this video. They made the PCBs. Really nice, qual nice quality. Check them out. And uh, yeah, thanks to JLC PCB for sponsoring us. But yeah, we actually have another, like these are not the final ones. We actually uh, wanted to make another change. Uh, do you have that open break? I have that. And it's instantly obviously what the change is. Some <laughs> artwork has been cut and some connectors has been added. It looks a bit uh, weird that it renders uh, no components except the pins. But that is true, but on the front side, uh, most of the components um, have undergone some minor changes um, after I made those footprints just to improve them a bit. But yeah, headers don't need any changes, so uh, those can, re can be used. And you can see, sadly, some art has been gone, but still has some art saved. has been removed, the dipper has been staved, a lot of other galaxies have been done. But yeah. It's, it's nice uh, because now we have GPIO pins. So this product is basically done. 
I'm just now waiting on the new PCBs, so we get those with the GPA opens. Because with GPA opens, you can actually, you know, like solder on LEDs or something. Or because uh, we we already sell this as a development board because you can uh, reprogram this and put your software on it. You can try it with different antennas, all this all this kind of stuff. You can experiment with this, but right we now we found it a bit limiting. Yeah, yeah. It was just maybe someone wants to add an OLED. Maybe someone wants to add an extra button. Exactly. Mm, and we got sometimes feedback, oh, it would be nice to add something or, oh, I would love to do this. But this way we have the most important pins that are now av available. So you can... Um, yeah, which pins are ITC, available? Um, D7, D6, D5, and D0. And those allow you to do some general IO, allow you to do I2C. So the most interesting stuff you would want to do to quickly develop some stuff and have the ability to just have the long range, but also add something of your own if you want to. Yeah. As the firmware is open source and there you can just right. find it. How do you make those designs and where can people find it? I made those designs by using KiCad, as that's the tool uh, that I prefer to use. And uh, they are all on the GitHub. Yeah, I have it open here. Um, so you go to github.com slash tech slash the offer dash Andromeda dash PCB. We will also link that, of course. And here you can find the project files for KiCad. Uh, KiCad is an open source software you can use uh, yourself. So you could you could download these files, modify it. You know, it's all open source hardware. I know there will be a few of you in the comments that really urgently want these because they couldn't get the uh, long range D offer, which was, you know, our first run. It's a limited edition. We made it really special. Uh, and we thank everyone who actually purchased one because you helped out just so much by just pushing us forward. We learned so much from this process and we're now able to, uh, yeah, just scale up a little bit um, and improve on in quality and everything. So if you really, really want one of those prototypes that I made here, uh, whoops, <laughs> I just dropped off. Them. So, so uh, if you want to want uh, one of these drops, um, then uh, send us an email at store at spacehoon.tech because this is like a pre-production prototype kind of thing. However, the only thing that's missing are the GPI opens. And if you don't care about them, but you really, really want this fast, quick, then uh, sure, you know, why not? I guess that that's also kind of a limited edition in its way then. For our friends in the US, because we still can't ship to the US because of the whole pandemic situation, there is something coming up. Please stand by. We, we are working on it. Just give us a bit more time. Of course, Stefan will tweet out once these uh, fresh new designs are publicly available and uh, ready to order on his website. Okay, so if you're interested in one of our prototypes, send us an email. Um, let us know how you like this video, if this is a format we should continue or not. Uh, how do you like the name, Coming Hoon? Is it good? I think it's great. Griggs, how do you like the name? I, uh, I like it. It's within style. You like the name, of course. Uh, if you want to check out our store, that's spacehoon.store, where you can buy stuff we make. So we have a lot of new projects coming up. So if this is a format you like, let us know. Uh, we can make more of it <laughs> and give you more insight of what's going on. And um, yeah, so I guess... Keep you posted. That's it. <laughs> Thanks for watching.